Welcome, gamers. Today I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. To do this, you need to have these three things. One, a fresh copy of GTA San Andreas in your PC. Two, mods mentioned in the description. Three, some patience to watch this video. If you have these, prepare to witness enhanced graphics, revamped gameplay mechanics, and a whole new level of immersion. Join us as we breathe new life into this classic title. Let's dive into the world of mods and rediscover the magic of GTA San Andreas. First, you need to install the essential pack. To do this, open this, select these, and put it into the game folder. If you want to know what these mods do, then read the README file inside. Next, we are going to install the graphics mod. Here you have two options, one is DirectX 3.0 and other one is DirectX 2.0. You can download 3.0 from here and 2.0 from here. Note this installation steps for these mods are same, so follow me. Select these three, copy and paste, into the folder. Now drag and drop as I show in the video. Now open the game and see if it's running without any problems. If does, congratulations. Now let's do some tweaks. Press shift and enter together and follow my steps. Please turn off complex shadows or reduce the quality because it will eat your GPU. Also, untick this to get more FPS. If your game is lagging, Try turning off these settings. It might help you to get some FPS. If your GPU is not worthy enough to handle these graphics mods, you can still install other mods to improve textures and gameplay mechanics. So don't worry. Now we can install other mods that will improve graphics and interface. Now we are going to install Project 2 DFX, which adds LOD Corona effect to a game map, making LOD world look a lot better. But make sure to disable this setting, or you may see white textures in interiors. To install these mods, just copy and paste, like me. Now let's see how the game look like. You can see it's looking awesome. Can you see these irritating 3D gun flashes? Let's disable them. To do this, I'm going to install mix sets. Now open the NT file. Change this values to the maximum. Now search for 3D Flash. Put one here and save it now it is done. Now we can install the texture mods. Open the mod files, drag and drop inside the mod loader.
A few moments later. Let's see how is our game is looking. It's nice. If you see this white textures, don't worry, it'll show how to fix these in the end of the video. Let's install sound mods. Our main mod will be S-A-H-Q-S. Other mods are overlapping for this. Just do what I show. Now put this into the mod loader. Open the other mods, search for the same files in SAHQ's folder, and replace with these mods. To install SAAS mod, put these files into the Clio folder. Now we are done. Installing audio mods, let's see the difference. Let's install some script. First, we are going to install Shot Cam Shake Mod. This will shake the camera while shooting. I recommend to set this value to 10. Next, Ragdoll Bullet Physics. This will add some physics to the game. Next, First Person Mod. This will give you a first person perspective. But you must read the Read Me file. It contains some crash fixes. Next is Fair Police. This will replace the cut scene characters. To install Follow Me, but you must use PID spec mod together or you will see bugs in game. Use no effect setting to avoid graphical problems. Here we have two options, one manual drive by remake to taxi ride. These mods are incompatible with each other. My favorite, in drive-by mod, but it will crash and some missions disable the mode during those missions. Drag and drop as usual. This mod will improve NPC skills and make the game more difficult to play. There are three settings to adjust the difficulty. I think we already have this mod. Yes, here it is. So I'm skipping this. This mod will allow you to save your game anywhere to install put these file in CLEO folder. Drag and drop the rest
Let's check our game. Now we are successfully remastered GTA San Andreas. There are some bonus mods. If you like them, you can install them. Let's go for fixes first. If you see the original clouds messing with the ENB clouds, install no cloud mod. If you don't understand the language in the website while downloading mods, you can fix like this. If you face this problem when opening the game, do this. If you want to fix white trees, delete this folder inside pre-lighting fix pack. Hey, thanks for watching my video on remastering GTA San Andreas with mods in 2024. I hope you enjoyed seeing how this classic game can look and play with some amazing mods from the community. If you want to try out these mods for yourself, you can find the links in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this.